the Delta 5 sells for about $2,000 and has a detection range of 10 megahertz to 6.5 gigahertz. So unlike the CPM 700 by REI, it won't detect carrier current transmitters or infrared transmitters. However, I really like this product. Another receiver that I really like is the ScanLock M2, which is also made by AudioTel. The receiver works on an entirely different technology and is basically a harmonic receiver, but has some nice additional features, which can also be used for a quick walkthrough. The ScanLock M2 comes with a notebook computer and software, which does a nice job of automatically saving spectrum data, report tags, audio samples, and other data. The differential detector shows only changes in RF spectrum in real time or between TSEM sweeps. The ScanLock M2 sells for approximately $18,000 to $19,000. However, it's limited to only 5 GHz. Personally, I really like this product and would definitely buy it if I was still in the TSEM business. However, I think that a TSEM service provider needs additional receivers or spectrum analyzers to really do a reliable job. The Oscar, manufactured by REI, is a really unique spectrum analyzer custom designed for TSEM work. It is probably the largest selling custom designed TSEM receiver and spectrum analyzer in the world. The front end of the receiver is analog, but its really clever software included with the system makes it a unique spectrum analyzer, which can perform some pretty amazing tasks in that it automatically detects stores and classifies potentially threatening RF signals and includes enhanced trace analysis functionality for detecting spread spectrum, frequency hopping, burst or packet transmitters and other sophisticated devices. The Oscar even has an extremely clever function which can be used to pinpoint the exact location of the hidden RF transmitter once you've narrowed it down to the room that it's in. Plus, it has a really nice built-in infrared and carrier current transmitter detection abilities. It can also be interfaced in with a computer for remote operations. The basic Oscar sells for about $20,000, but is limited to the 10 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz range. However, REI does sell two microwave down converters that will extend the upper range to about 9 gigahertz for an additional $5,000 or up to 20 gigahertz for about $10,000 more. I really like the Oscar and would definitely buy it if I was still in the TSEM service business. This is a nice piece of equipment. Now, let me talk about multi-purpose spectrum analyzers. Spectrum analyzers are basically radio receivers with an oscilloscope that displays radio frequencies by amplitude and frequency. It can be used to view signals across a wide range of radio frequencies at one time, as well as to zoom in and look at the characteristics and the content of the signal in real time. A company called Avcom makes a really nice low-end spectrum analyzer that covers the lower ranges up to about 1.2 GHz. And ISA in Connecticut sells a really nice affordable one that reaches up to 7 GHz for about $12,000. But HP or Hewlett Packard and Tektronix make some extremely good spectrum analyzers in the $30,000 to $90,000 price range that will reach all the way up to about 60 gigahertz. Personally, I've always preferred Tektronix spectrum analyzers, but I hear so many good things about the HP analyzers also. If you remember in Chapter 4, we discussed the fact that some radio bugs can be remotely turned on and off. And if the TSEM service provider is looking for the bug while it is inactive, then it's pretty hard for him to detect it with a radio receiver or spectrum analyzer, unless he's able to pinpoint the oscillator signal in the unit's receiver. Therefore, a good TSEM service provider will also be equipped with a nonlinear junction detector, which is primarily designed to detect these devices and any other device that has a transistor, a diode, or other equipment using integrated circuits such as an infrared transmitter, hidden cameras, tape recorders, and many types of microphones. A nonlinear junction detector works on the principle of transmitting a very high radio frequency signal into the wall, furniture, or other objects while simultaneously looking for radio signals or echoes that are generated when the transmitter signal hits a transistor, diode, or integrated circuit. The price range for a nonlinear junction detector is in the $15,000 to $30,000 price range. 
The Orion by REI is the smallest and lightest nonlinear junction detector on the market. I played with one of these recently and was very impressed with its easy use and detection capabilities. And at $16,000 is the most affordable nonlinear junction detector on the market. The Broom, manufactured by AudioTel, is another really good nonlinear junction detector and sells for about $23,000. And the Boomerang, made by ISA, is another excellent nonlinear junction detector. Though heavier and more cumbersome to use than the others, it has been the TSEM industry standard for over 20 years. Actually, I've owned two Boomerangs in my career and was always extremely happy with its performance. Also, Winkleman makes a nonlinear junction detector called the Hawk 450XD. Well, I've never seen one, I've heard from a few TSEM professionals about its excellent performance. I don't have a current price list for it, but I'm relatively sure that it's still in this $15,000 to $30,000 price range. By the way, I wouldn't even consider hiring a TSEM service provider that does not have one of these manufactured by AudioTel, ISA, REI, or Winkleman. So I guess you should make a note of that. Oh, I guess I should point out that there's a few Russian-built nonlinear junction detectors that are now starting to show up in Western countries. But since I have absolutely no experience with these, I'm a little hesitant to discuss their worthiness. Okay, there's one more product I should talk about here, and that's the Detect 4 manufactured by AudioTel. This is a very new product on the market and is really designed more for in-house corporate use than by a TSEM service provider. While expensive at $30,000, the Detect 4 is a combination of a nonlinear junction detector, a differential RF field strength wide band detector, and a radio receiver. Though somewhat bulky and expensive, the device is really clever and easy to use and requires very little training. Today there are many different types of telephone instrument analyzers, and it's hard to find just one TSEM telephone analyzer that can detect all hook switch bypasses. Perhaps the best one manufactured is the ETA-3, manufactured by ISA. The telephone instrument analyzer has been on the market for several years and has always proven to be a reliable tool. However, with many of today's newer digital office telephone systems, which digitize the audio inside the telephone instrument, a good TSEM service provider may also use a high bandwidth oscilloscope or other equipment to analyze the bit stream flowing down the telephone line. I guess I should mention that there's two TSEM equipment manufacturers that seem to be working on some rather advanced equipment in this area. I certainly wish them speedy progress because the market's crying out for new telephone-related TSEM equipment.